Okay, real quick. I don't think people understood where I put my two-cycle TCW3 oil. I put it in the gas tank. Two ounces per 10 gallons. I estimate that I have about 10 gallons that needs to go in to fill it up all the way. I was at 15 ounces, I'd take it down to 13 ounces. After I fill up the gas tank, if I find out I'm wrong, I redo the math. I recently released a video, which uh, I got great feedback from people. I really appreciate everyone that watches. Love you all to death. Without you, this wouldn't be worth it. Apparently, I'm not just a creator. I like performing in front of people that pay attention. Yep, I love the attention. Get over it if you don't like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> love you guys. So anyway, this oil goes in my gas tank and I get better gas mileage and it's the same gas mileage I got with the Lucas upper cylinder lubricant and it just so happens that since this quart bottle is so very useful I continue to use it even though I've switched to TCW3 which if I switch go past all this stuff that I keep in my truck you can see recently they changed it and this is why I even thought to do the video TCW3 is now tiny and I had a hard time finding it. What gets me is this synthetic blend costs just about the same as this totally non-synthetic. And apparently the synthetic is supposed to better protect your pistons, uh, your compression rings, your valves. So this does it well. That's supposed to do it better. Synthetic's supposed to even be better, but I found that True synthetic can be as much as $65 a gallon by some fancy, fancy companies, while this could be like five bucks. So, yeah. My answer for you is definitely go with semi-synthetic until I'm willing to spend a lot of money to test if synthetic is amazing. Sorry, someone very excited driving by. Oh, wow. That Dodge needs to get over himself. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, gas up after you put the oil in to help it mix up. Uh, I know Project Farm did a recent test that said unless you mix it up, it actually is less effective. It actually harms your performance instead of increasing it. And that's by gassing up first. But I still prefer to have the correct amount. So if, as I gas up, I discover my gas model is different than I expected, I will go ahead and add a little bit more of this ride it yeah my truck gets used for real work look at that look at that mess <laughs> strap stuff down yuck you know what that's used for right so technically I need 0.2 more ounces I might not bother be sure to get out there and work on something and in the meantime be sure to check out these related videos this is the one that's most related to this video. The one Google or YouTube thinks is most related. Get out there and work on something. Yeah, I got I just got a little something in my eye. You know, they, they clicked real hard. That's a good problem to have. It's alright. I'll be okay. <laughs>